how do you break cartoonist block or writer's block for cartoonist? <laughs> well, what's your any secret sauce behind that? Because you're so prolific. And I started thinking, man, how does he keep pumping these out so consistently? So I'd love to hear if there's any uh, sort of uh, some deliberate tips you could share with us. Sure, absolutely. Well, it's it, it's a little bit. It used to, it was a little bit different when I had a day job and I was just drawing one cartoon a week because I generally would have something to write about over the course of the week. Something would happen. Now that I'm working with all these other companies and my output has to be that much higher because I'm creating. You know, I'm working usually with five to six uh, clients at a time on on you know cartoon types of campaigns where we create a whole bunch of a whole bunch of material. I had to get a little bit more more kind of deliberate about my strategy, like to come up with ideas. I decided that I had to block time for for deep creative thinking time every day, like like mm-hmm. exercise. That I couldn't I couldn't do what I had done before, which is you know I'd overschedule myself and constantly be in meetings and then not have any time to think about stuff. And I found that that helped a lot. So I, I usually block two two hours at the start of my working day for pure creative time every single day. Um, sometimes it's not a full two hours, but I really try to hold it as sacred as I as I can. And that um, I find helps because what I, what I hate is knowing that I have to have an idea in an hour. It helps if I think I need to have you know ten ideas at the end of the week. And I have an hour today just to work on it because it takes that immediate pressure off. 